With the T280 being an all new design, we're gonna talk about the cab. From here to here. A whole episode of it. Just that area. There's that much great stuff in it. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, I am Josh with Premier Truck Sales and Rental. Thanks again for tuning back in this week. As I mentioned, we are gonna talk about the cab and why not stick with tradition? Let's start up front. So the big thing with this is this is Kenworth's one piece windshield, the same that they use, like I said, the T680, the T880. The cowl setup is the similar too. And that also means that you can use a similar visor on top opens up all sorts of options because those cabs have been around for quite some time. So if you're looking for something different, but we've got the Kenworth stainless steel visor on there. It does a great job. It's mounted from the factory to the cab. It keeps the sun off the top of that windshield seal. So that way that's going to last for years to come. Now, when we go up a little bit further than that, we've got the marker lights up top there as well as a single air horn because just because you're in a T280, doesn't mean you don't need to yell at people any less. Just next to the air horn up there, you'll see a small antenna. That's for your radio in that. Now the antennas for the truck tech in that, those are actually up in the headliner inside the truck because they work on a slightly different setup. So let's actually get a side profile of the truck. And like I said in the intro, we're gonna talk about that space and everything that's changed there, which is pretty much all of it. As we go down the side here, you're gonna see one of the things that I've always loved that Kenworth has done. Kenworth doesn't take light trucks and build them into class five, six, or seven trucks. Kenworth takes their class eight trucks and turns them into class five, six, or seven trucks. That is a huge difference because when you start something that's meant for a class eight heavy duty truck, you're gonna have a much better base. And that is gonna carry through the whole cab here. And one of the ways is, you guys have always seen me talk about these mirrors. These mirrors are mounted to the cowl. Now, the cool thing is they're a breakaway mirror. So if you happen to thwack something, you're not buying a whole new mirror setup. These mirrors, they're heated and power. They've got the antenna mounted up there. And like I said, with the cowl mounting, there's two really cool pieces about this. First off, every time you open and close the door, it's not going to adjust the mirror for you. The mirror is never going to move. Another thing about that is if you have to get out of the truck for some reason in traffic, you can use the mirror to see if anything's coming. Third off, these mirrors are so strong that if you ever feel like doing chin-ups from them, you can. There's a lot of other mirrors I wouldn't hang from. So as we come back further here, this is the Kenworth Daylight Door. Similar door, like I said, to the T680 and T880. Once again, it's that heavy duty truck brought down to a light duty status. The door handle's a nice convenient location here. And it's got that nice, like soft pull to it, but you know it's because of the way it's made. Now with this, when you close that door, it still closes like a bank vault. These doors have a triple seal. There's a seal here, there's a seal here, and there's another one that wraps around the top there. Not only is it to keep the weather out, but it's also to make sure that the noise stays out. These cabs are incredibly, incredibly quiet. Now this, it kind of reminds me of those old Mercedes where you got to slam the door in order to make sure it closes. Now, unlike the T270 and other earlier trucks, in order to get the door closed, you don't have to have the window cracked open because there are these vents back here, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. The window on these trucks is huge in this side area. It's a nice power window. It dips down here to make sure that you can see that extra mirror area. And I love just its, its visibility all over with these windows. They're a very nice flat pane of glass, so that way there's no distortion with things either. On top of that, Kenworth a few years ago started putting this ridge over the top and the front here. What this does is it helps deflect rain from around the window. So I'm not saying that in a hurricane you can run with the windows down, but what I am saying, I'm a fresh air guy. 
to have the window open a little bit in some rain or whatever weather without having to get me or my window control soaked, it's another big added bonus. Now, as we come back here too, on these trucks, we have chosen to install handrails on both sides to make sure that you can get in and out of the truck easily. I've mentioned this time and time again, one of the most common injuries for drivers is when they're either getting in or out of the truck. The simpler it is and the more points of contact that you have, the less likely you are to have an issue. So we want to make sure that you are, can be as safe as possible with this. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the back because yeah, there's even more back there. So there's a few more great things that I want to talk about at the back of the cab here. And I've got one surprise for you at the very end. So stay tuned. That being said, we've got this nice big back window here. Once again, flat pane of glass, something comes up, breaks this, whatever. It's easy to replace. We also have these trucks specced with these outer windows here. These, they're a smaller window, but they add a huge amount of visibility one glance over your shoulder and you can look and see those wheels. If you've all but eliminated the blind spot, you're going to eliminate those incidents. Not to mention it's convenient for when you're backing up or all sorts of other areas. I find myself using these windows all of the time when I'm in these trucks. Now I mentioned before that this vent back here, what these are is this is a one way vent. As you close the door, obviously it traps air in the cab and it needs to release that. So these vents allow that to happen. That way it, you can close the door, but it still keeps that really nice tight seal with it. So this cab is nice. And I mean, once again, flat back here, we've got the VIN number right down here for you. And what is that surprise I wanted to talk to you about? Well, right down here, it's the air ride system for the cab. Well, now, not only do you have a smooth chassis, but you got the air ride cab and an air ride seat to go with it. To me, this new cab has changed a whole slew of items. And there's really just an awesome amount of stuff that we can look at with this. So next up, we're gonna dive into the interior and see how the inside of the cab has changed now too. So do me a favor. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you know the next time we come out with one of these videos. Make sure you leave a comment if you've got a question or a concern for us. We love hearing from you guys. Hit the thumbs up button. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next week. You just have to figure out how to get down.